Good afternoon, I got it right this time. From Lisa Berg Amusement Park, it's day two after an amazing first visit yesterday. And if you haven't seen that video, feel free to check it out for our first reactions to pretty much all the major rides here. Um, yeah, love this park. Had a great time, can't wait for days two and three ahead of us. There were a few bits here and there that we didn't experience. The rapids and the whole area around there. Like we didn't even set foot in that area of the park yesterday. Um, and yeah, like I think that's where like the scare maze is. Like we was looking for it all day. Then um, shout out Joey, he told us not to miss it. And I was like, we missed it. Like where, whereabouts is it? He was like, oh, it's near the rapids. And that explains it because we didn't go anywhere near the rapids. But uh, yeah, both of this vlog's a bit shorter. Because um, I assume, I don't have a clue how long it is. But I assume yesterday was a long one. Um, but yeah, three rides, first rides on a few bits and bobs here and there, like the rapids. And uh, yeah, let's uh, look even further into this amazing amusement park. I think we're up to Helix to start off again, because um, it's so close to the park, why not? Day two of Helix, not having its soundtrack on. Sad times. I've really, really enjoyed that front row ride on Helix to start the day. Good air time, good forces on a morning ride as well. We'll try and get that done at night, tonight as well. Rained a little bit, did a few rides on the other major coasters, did the Zamperla Disco for the first time, and it is now time to do the Rapids. Here at Leesburg, that just made someone jump. Probably would have made me jump if uh, I didn't hear it beforehand, but yeah. Let's do the River Rapids or whatever that translates to in Swedish. Solid Rapids though, as if you're unlucky. Uh, it will get wet. <laughs> like honestly, some water shot right into my mum's mouth, let down a coat, everything. Um, but yeah, so unlucky. But uh, here's a close look. At them. There's bits where it goes quite slow. Um, then yeah, when there's water effects and the boat's going slow, yeah. Dark ride time again. This is Hotel Gaston. Go, yeah, Hotel Gaston. Um, yeah, um, looks like some ghost train. Um, so yeah, excited for this one, uh, especially after how good the other dark ride was, forgot the name now, under something. Um, yeah, that's really raised the, oh, the expectations for rides. I say drop me camera. Um, but yeah, we did do that earlier as well when it started raining um, for shelter. Some ghost train, I think. Uh, yeah, excited for it. All right then, Hotel Gustin was a walk through haunted house, um, not a ghost train. Um, is that the upscared? The upcharged scare maze that people used to go on about that's now been made free. It is now free, and yeah, it wasn't that actor heavy, so who knows? I hope there was more actors in there than when it was actually an upcharge. Um, but yeah, um, it was a lot of fun actually. Um, felt <laughs> there was a bit of a language barrier at first, and then he realised that um, it was English, and he was like, oh no. Um, so yeah, must, must be a hard language for. For him but yeah there are a few good jump scares in there um and yeah some nice theming and audio and everything a lot of fun um the only problem with it for me i was at the front i'm a fast walker and i had to like walk literally a quarter of my speed because we had to have our hands on the shoulders of the people in front of us so obviously i couldn't walk at my speed but so um, yeah oh i've just ruined it um by walking away but yeah basically we've come off park to come off park and enter the same day you have to ask for a stamp uh, it says balder don't know if it'll say balder all the time but yeah we've come to some random car park because basically i know that this is a good viewpoint of the park and yeah we've just come off park to do a perimeter walk really and try and get some nice photos of the skyline and yeah look at this um that is basically yeah what you get from this car park. It is called, if you want to come and have a look yourself, Amo 
Amo Park, Canold, Leesburg, if you want to stick that in Google Maps and walk around there like I did. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take some photos, some videos of the skyline, then like, who knows, like, I don't think we're actually going to do a full-on perimeter walk. Um, but yeah, I might go and have a look at the hotel uh, on the other end of the park earlier, uh, later, um, because I think there's a nice photo opportunity with like the Leesburg logo there, outside there. It'd be nice to have a look around, but that's on the other end of the park. And there is an exit for it um, near Valkyria and the lug flume, actually. So, yeah, um, it's trying to brighten up, so fingers crossed the weather is successful in doing that. I want rid of these clouds. Like, I want this to be the background of this, but at the moment, that's not what we're getting. It's clouds, so, yeah, I want some better photos. But, yeah, here we are. Ho um, car park Amo. Let's get some nice photos, but yeah, Liseberg, what a beautiful amusement park. It's time to go on Helix, and something that we missed out on on our first couple rides ever on this is back. It's the soundtrack. Looking forward to giving it a listen whilst I'm here. There we go. Happy days. As it should be. Oh man, I've just had two back row rides on Helix. It's got more intense now as the day has gone on. Um, going round now, so I, I, I don't know, I should fancy a front row, you know? Um, and yeah, the soundtrack's on, so I've got to make the most of it. They did actually turn it off as we were leaving the station for our second ride, um, but it, they put it on like as our restraints were. Um, lifting up and that's how it should be um, yeah set a decent volume as well could be a little bit louder but you know what it doesn't have to be deafening like still good I would like to make it free in a row right now it's rather quiet I think they're the stairs up to the station and there's no one on them at all which is crazy to be honest the ops are good as well free trains yeah Got to make the most of the soundtrack being on because, yeah, might not even be on tomorrow. Oh, what a tune! Yeah, my man, I've barely done any filming today. We've just been going at it full on, rewriting. Like, I filmed for everything that I did for the first time today, like the rapids, the uh, haunted house. Um, but, yeah, it's time for a Helix Night Ride. It just needs to hurry up and go a bit darker, to be honest. It's like, yeah. Um, not gonna get on it pitch black, I don't think. But we can try. It's dark enough. But yeah, I'm loving this park a lot. Like I say, just re-riding things with amazing operations. You can't beat it. Um, and everything here is so re-ridable as well, so, you know. Yeah, cannot complain. Might to be better if they had some floodlights in the way that Pleasure Beach do. Like, the park is really well lit around the paths. Um, also, I will summarise like everything we've done at some point. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, the park is really well lit. Like through these like lights here, um, like proper classic amusement park lights. Them. Um, but yeah, like the coasters. Like, it'd be better if they were... Well, Balder's lit up really nicely, so why isn't Helix? It's like, I feel like the presentation on Helix has gone downhill since it's opening. Like, I've heard a lot of people say that. Like, the sign used to be lit up at the entrance. The soundtrack hasn't been on for half of our trip so far. And yeah, like, it's just not lit up. Like, imagine if it was flood lit up, like the Pleasure Beach coasters at the LNRs. That'd be cool. Um, and yeah, it looks so good on the hill, but yeah, train lights are on, so it looks cool going round. Here it comes, and yeah, um, flying, hopefully, hopefully it's flying. Yeah. I'm uh, wanting to make a bit of a statement regarding Helix, but yeah, you know me, I don't like to jump straight to the conclusions with stuff like that. I feel like we've gone past where we need to, to go past. Wait, no we've not. What am I on about? Um, but yeah, you know what I'm like. 
yeah, I don't like to jump straight into conclusions and stuff. Like, yeah, maybe a couple more rides. Maybe this night ride and I'll uh, let you know. But yeah, because I've barely filmed anything today, I will be continuing this vlog on to tomorrow. So, yeah, stay tuned. We'll do a few more bits and bobs that we've not done yet for the first time. Then, yeah, more and more re-rides. And, yeah, our final verdict of Lisa Berg. Like, yeah, this should be lit up, especially at night. Um, the soundtrack is on. Um, got the extended mix in the queue line. So, yeah, it takes a while, I've noticed, to get to the, the main upbeat bit we all love. But, uh, yeah. Let's hear it. Helix, what a way to end the day. Day two of Lisa Berg. What a trip we're having. Oh, get that upbeat soundtrack blasting out in here. It's a bit quiet, but yeah, excited for this Helix night ride. We're going all out, so it'll be our last ride of the day, waiting for front row. I think this will be the third front row ride we've done it on it today. Um, yeah, I'm not one to count how many rides we're doing a trip, but... Fortsätt framåt och inåt på stationen, tack. Hela vägen framåt och inåt, vi kan köra med tomma platser. Jag får be er fylla på varje plats och fortsätta hela vägen framåt och inåt, tack. If only the soundtrack was as loud as that microphone. Probably I've done like every roller coaster here, like every, well, all three of the major ones. Like well over double digits now. And yeah, they're all amazing. Couldn't recommend this place enough. But I'll speak more about that probably tomorrow night. Um, that's nice how it's kind of lit up. A little, um, oh, thumbs up, dispatch. Speedy operations, love it. Anyways, let's get on. All right then. Here's the Helix transfer track in motion. We've had the last train of the day on the front row of Helix. Two days of this trip, last, last train of the day. Um, yeah, this will be cool to watch. Hopefully, we see them take the second one off and uh, yeah, I'll film a se separate video for it. Um, who knows? Yeah, they do that at the end of the day. Yeah, hopefully they take this train off now and we can watch it. Um, and yeah, separate video without narration. Like, yeah. It oh, she's an enthusiast now. Hopefully they take this train off and then, yeah, I, I have a big ramble to do. Um, but yeah, it's not the best view of it from down here, obviously, but it'll do. Right, hopefully they take this train off. Um, and if they do, well, I think they will, to be honest. Right, the new video starts now. Check it out. Full video of the Icon Transfer track. Don't think I'll put the whole thing in this video. Um, but yeah, I will put like the main bits. So they actually take all three trains off. Yeah, because like there's three doors. Um, yeah, it's not the easiest to pick up because it's dark, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting to see this one because for the last one that's obviously in the station, that's the train we we rode. Um, yeah, they roll it back onto the transfer track. It's probably easier than sending it round the cycle. Um, wait. Um, I mean, I will film this one, bits of it. Check out the bed, it's packed. Please and back on your seatbelt. But, yeah, the separate video will be the other one. 
But yeah, just get more close to it. It's actually much better filming it from here because you can actually see the train lights. Oh, it's not picking up on the camera a bit where the track reattaches to the rest of the coaster. But I can see it. There we go, that's really cool to watch. Right, I really hope I'm not locked out here. Um, because I've obviously stayed behind to watch the Helix transfer track. Um, but yeah, we capture the epic fails. I've said that a lot. This trip. Um, drag. Oh, there we go. We're not locked out, but yeah. That was really cool to see. Didn't expect to see the Helix transfer track today. But yeah, um, to be fair, well, it's obvious really. If you want to see the icon do it, um, stay behind at the end of the day and watch it from the bridge. Um, yeah, something that they do on these Mac rides, and I assume they take trains off Valkyria and Bard as well. I literally rode that thing for the first time yesterday, falling in love with it. And I think that night ride is confirmed. Like I've been old enough from saying it, but it's a new number one. Um, it's obviously better than what my number one is at the moment, Icon. The best roller coaster I've been on. It's just got everything that you could ask for. Like speed, intensity, airtime, inversions, like two launches. Um, like, yeah. Amazing it is. But yeah, Helix is a new number, oh my god. There was um, a ride operator in there, massive shout out. On our uh, third ride, we did three rides in a row, and I think that was the last time we saw you actually. Um, well, I actually filmed um, earlier this afternoon, and yeah, he basically noticed our uh, hoodies and that, um, <laughs> which was cool. And then he was telling us, like, you've got to do Helix at night. Have you done the Haunted House? Um, Balder used to be quicker than what it is, um, which is interesting because I actually noticed that yesterday, if you remember me saying in the vlog, like, I thought it went round the turns and stuff a lot quicker than that. And it's a shame, to be honest. It's like, Kitty doesn't know why, I don't know why. It's something to do with the wheels or something, apparently. Like, yeah, it just doesn't go as quick as it, it used to. Um, we're going off. <laughs> um, yeah, Leesburg's 100. Um, but yeah, Baldi used to go a lot quicker than it does now, which is a shit. Oh, I think my bag's open. I've left my bag open. I... No, it's just my little camera waterproof bag thing dangling out. That, that's fine. That, I can live with that um, for now. My bag's shut. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I think Baldi would have been a lot better if uh, at full speed. Shame we'll never get to experience that unless things change again of course um, but yeah I think it's just underneath Grand National at the minute for my favourite Woody um, probably number two Woody's um, better than Dipper, Wickerman it's probably better than Stampede as well or stuff like that um, so yeah um, really good ride, a lot of ejector like that is what I imagine like RMC ejector being light, where you just get shoved over them hill, little hills there. Um, yeah, very well designed coaster. A lot of fun. But yeah, um, that's the end of day two from Leesburg. I absolutely love this park. Yeah, we've had an amazing day, like I say, literally doing so many re rides, mainly on Log Flume, uh, Valkyria, Balder, and Helix. Um, then obviously did like those things for the first time as well today. Um, but yeah, such a shame they're getting rid of that log flume because yeah, it's literally it's probably the best non-themed like classic log flumes that I've ever been on. Um, but you know what? Credit where credit's due. At least have announced a ride's closure instead of just tearing it out in the closed season, which a lot of parks in our place do. Um, which is a shame. Like, it'd be lovely. It, it, well, it's nice that they've announced it, 
and yeah people can get lost rides on it and knowing that it's the lost rides on it fingers crossed in its place we get a big thrill ride again um who knows like we probably will get a coaster whether it's like a thrill one i don't know um but it's definitely I mean, it definitely will be a reason to come here um back here again it's easy to get here couldn't recommend it enough um but yeah um We'll might speak more about Log Flume and what's replacing it potentially uh, tomorrow. But yeah, that's the end of day two. This trip will pretty much all be over theme park wise tomorrow. This time tomorrow, which is um, sad thought, but we've had a blast. Um, so yeah, from day two here at Leesburg. Um, well, yeah, not thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching so far. But yeah, it's not the end of the video, so I'll see you tomorrow. Um, this vlog's been a bit all over the place, like I said, um, but yeah, it's what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, see you tomorrow, I guess. Here's Goffia Towers at night. Very cool to see. Good afternoon, I think, yes. From our third and final day at Lisaberg Amusement Park. What an incredible trip we have had. We are going on a few rides in Luna Park for the first time now. Uh, we've just done Jukebox for my first time. That is a brilliant flat. Like, you get some airtime, you get some spinning. How's everything? Like, wow, a lot of fun. Good vibes are on there as well. Like, good Amity Speedway vibes from Fort Park there with the music that was playing. Um, but yeah, where do we even start? Um, yeah, third and final day, it is Saturday, today it is noticeably a lot busier on park. Um, and yeah, the park is also open 11 hours instead of just the 9 today. It opened at 11 o'clock in the morning instead of 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, brilliant, an extra 2 hours of rides. And yeah, the first 2 hours are already up, almost, which is insane. But yeah, here we are up at Luna Park, we'll probably do this ride and uh, my mum wants to do the carousel which is just behind me at some point as well. I'll try and film as much as I can, like I said we are literally going from ride to ride. Um, taking the odd bit of time out for photos um, and yeah, making the most of it. But uh, yeah, join us from Lisaberg day 3 and I'll see you around. Turbo, this one looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, it swings out. Decent views of the log flume from here. Yeah, cool stuff. The log flume is actually close at the moment. The trough's empty. But yeah, I don't know. Wanna see a big thrill coaster here next time I come. Solid little family flat ride concept turbo. Enjoyed it. Uh, it's now time to go on. I think it's called Tempus. I saw a sign down there. Yeah, this is the one I've been going on about all trip. The similar to one in Vikings at Drayton Manor. Looking forward to giving it a ride. So yeah, it's a pretty unique and cool ride to watch go around as well. How they like interlock. So yeah, let's give it a go. Not bad, but nothing special. Glad I have been on it. Um, got some good views of the log flume and stuff from up there in Luna. But yeah, it's definitely a fun ride to watch. Anyways, I'm going to give the carousel a quick go next. So it's walk on and it's another ride to tick off here at Lisaberg. We've reached that part of the trip where we're doing things for the last time, or the last couple times. We've just done the Underland Day Dark Ride. Or, which I think means underground, to be honest, for the last time uh, this trip cannot wait to come back and like experience that again. That is one of the best dark rides I've been on. Um, yeah, such good vibes in there, great soundtrack all around, great animatronics. Yeah, some funny moments in there as well. Um, bit of humour. Like I say, what a ride we've got. Un just under three hours now, left of our trip um, to Lisaberg. So yeah, we are, like I say, getting a f final few rides in, mainly on like the coasters. We're going to do the wheel now because we've like had a bit of tea. Um, 
yeah, we're gonna do the wheel to let things settle, and then, uh, yeah. Well, actually, I think we're doing helix, like, before and after the wheel. Um, but yeah, like I say, another day of not really filming much, but, uh, yeah. In these final three hours, I'll try and get some footage of our last couple of hours here at Lisaberg. We've had an absolute blast. I love this park. It's probably the best one I've been to. Just put it out there. Um, yeah, it's run so well. It's got a good atmosphere, good vibes all around. Operations are brilliant. Like, it's just so well run, it seems. And yeah, I don't know. So good. Uh, so yeah. We're either going to Helix first or we're going straight to the wheel in Helix on the way back. This patch, massive shout out to the guy in the hot box there. Been trying to us a lot like since like midway through yesterday when he spotted our uh, theme park hoodies, like my smiler one yesterday, my pleasure beach one today. Yeah, been trying to us a lot about like the coasters here and just the park. Yeah, in and yeah, yeah. Absolute legend. Also, the soundtrack is always on when he's in the hot box, so gotta give him credit for that as well. We're on the wheel again, and I had to uh, mention briefly that uh, we've used this to get on the park today, which you can do once if you have a Pleasure Beach season pass. This is a Pleasure Beach season pass if you are aware. Um, and yeah, this entitles you to one free visit a season to Port Ventura, Leesburg, Efteling, Isla Mag Magica as well in Spain, Europa Park as well, and I think that's it. <laughs> there might be one more which I may have forgot, but yeah, Pleasure Beach Season Pass. All you have to do here is go to the guest services on the left of the ticket, um, no, not the left of the ticket, like that building, that building there. Up to the entrance. The left of the entrance, yeah, is if you're standing from there. That's where you get like your tickets from. We obviously like bought the tickets for yesterday and Thursday, um, and you just go there if you've pre-booked and all that. But um, yeah, to redeem your Pleasure Beach pass, like entry day yeah, thing, just take um, yeah, go in the guest services right there. Then yeah, like hopefully the same happens for you, but. But for us, like, she recognised it straight away and was like, oh. And then gives us the wristband from there. So we didn't have to go in the main ticket gates uh, today because we redeemed this and that. So, yeah. And then you let them park through there. So it's very easy. And obviously saves you whatever, like, 30 odd quid. Um, yeah, on one of your days here at least, Berg, if you're doing a multi-day trip. Definitely worth it. And yeah, absolute bargain from Pleasure Beach there, um, saving us a bit of money on this trip. Yeah, thought I'd let you know if you weren't aware, you can use this um, to get on park. Looking forward to using it uh, back at the home park in the coming days though. There's a look into Gothenburg City then. Um, that building over there, we found out yesterday, is the... Um, Tallest building in Scandinavia. That one there. And there's Gothia Towers here. Yeah, not full of skyscrapers, Gothenburg, but it is a nice place. And, um, yeah. Construction happening everywhere as well. Just add what is probably the second to last ride on Helix, so I think that's where we're going to end up um, of our trip. So, yeah, we're going to head to do. Probably Leesburg Bannon, Valkyria and Balder again now. The soundtrack was on then, absolute banger. Um, yeah, well, we're gonna have another go on there. There's three coasters I just mentioned then. Um, and yeah, see what, like how much time we have then. Uh, then yeah, it will be time to leave. But honestly, fingers crossed I'm back here like soon. Um, yeah, amazing place, easy to get to, hopefully the Pleasure Beach Pass deal stays, uh, which it has done for the past like god knows how many years now, 
minus the COVID years where I think they like got rid of it, like just for them, because obviously like international travel was a lot more restricted. But yeah, there we go. The lights are on now. The sun will be going down soon. And yeah. I'll see you afterwards. On to Lisa Berg Bannon and it's amazing dispatches. Um, yeah, who knows, we might do this on the way back to Helix later after Valkyria and Balda. So it's quite quiet in comparison to those rides and Helix. Um, so yeah, won't take a minute to come down here on the way back if we do have time. But yeah, surprised I've made it throughout this whole trip without calling it Leesburg Banana. But uh, yeah, that's a common nickname for it. Like, is that what Bannon means? I don't know. But yeah, focus. Uh, yeah, there we go. Those dispatches. See you after Liseberg Bannon for our second two or last time. Liseberg Bannon is a brilliant roller coaster for all ages. Some good forces. I call it right turn the ride because the majority of the turns are right. <laughs> um, yeah. There's just this section where you just go around in right circles and it, it's quite funny to be honest, but the drops are good. Some decent airtime, some, you know, the odd pops of airtime for a family coaster. And it's a classic as well. Like, how can you complain? But yeah, this could be our last ride of the trip on Balder. And we're gonna wait to do it on the front row, as we have done many times. Yeah, like this is one big, big bonus about this park. You can just wait and do whatever row you want, which is insane. Oh, Balder, my number two wooden roller coaster. Just behind Grand National, I think. But yeah, still gonna miss it very much. Time for Valkyria, a ride that probably exceeded my expectations, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think the vertical drop itself probably isn't quite on the level of oblivion. But because of the layout, like the layout's incredible, like it's got the aerial run on the sidewinder out. I can't even remember now, is it another one in there? Yeah, we'll move on. Um, and then, yeah. The zero G roll, probably a highlight, as always. You know I love zero G roll, if you watch this channel a lot. Um, and yeah, just some great forces, a bit of air time if you're lucky. Yeah, comfortable restraints as well. Honestly, exceeded my expectations. Couldn't recommend it enough. It does have a good station and soundtrack as well. Um, station's not really big for this, but okay. Yeah. Honestly. We'll try to We have one more ride left of our trip to Liseberg. Sometimes. But yeah, it's gonna be our favourite one here now. Helix, hopefully the soundtrack's on, hopefully it's running well. And hopefully our mate's on there. <laughs> the guy who was speaking to us um, earlier, because yeah, he seems to work on Helix and we saw him on Atmosphere once earlier. Um, did I speak about Atmosphere without PR actually? I don't think I did. Yeah, I prefer it a lot better. You get some really good views up there. You obviously know you've stopped, but um, yeah, the drop on atmosphere is amazing. I'd love a drop tunnel like that at Pleasure Beach where Ice Blast is or somewhere in the UK. Amazing ride. Um, <laughs> um, getting vlog bombed. There's a lot of vlog bombers here in uh, Doffenberg actually. And a few people over the last few days actually come up to us. And we've seen you film here and watch your YouTube channel. I've actually typed it into them, to their phones. Uh, so yeah. I don't know if any of you are watching. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be the last ride of the trip. Soundtrack's on! Let's go, it's looking good in here at night. Fine today, though. Yesterday we did a front row night ride. Oh, the last that, like it. And today we're doing a back row night ride. See how they compare. Um, I really can't tell whether it's a front or back row ride, this one. I think it's like, it's definitely better at the very front or very back but they're both amazing. And listen to this soundtrack. Um, yeah, I did it in my head all day. All right then, I might finish this vlog off here, where the Helix soundtrack's in the background, the Helix break run, and where I filmed the transfer track last night. Um, won't be doing that uh, tonight because there's 
a bit of a long queue and it's just gone 10 o'clock so yeah who knows we'll still be on park um, when we're doing that but yeah after this I probably am gonna have one last walk around um, before leaving to be honest um, for the last time this trip which is rather sad but yeah I'm gonna try not to ramble on for too long um, yeah this park is incredible I could not recommend it enough um, it's really easy to get to and if you want to see more on how we got here from Manchester in England check out my travel vlog from Tuesday brilliant rides atmosphere staff operations I've said it all before it looks amazing it's safe um, yeah there's a lot of security about and to be honest there's not that much like for them to do to be honest um, yeah touch wood um, the public here are a lot better than the Swedish, the British public. Uh, yeah, like I say, touch wood. Hopefully we've not just fluked it and not seen any silliness, but yeah. Uh, it's good, it's good for it. Um, the highlights are obviously the big three coasters for me. Helix, Balada, Valkyria. I love Leesburg Bannon as well. Atmosphere's great. The screaming swing we did. Um, the log flume as well, yeah, it's a shame they're getting rid of the log flume, of course. But to be honest, um, popping along to the soundtrack, it isn't playing at the minute. Um, the log flume, of course, it's a shame that they're getting rid of it. We have done it a few times today. Got quite wet, actually, focus. Um, got quite wet on our last ride on it. But yeah, to be fair though, did I even say this in a vlog? I can't, did, I can't remember. Did even say this in the vlog, um, but basically, at least they've announced it. They could have done what the majority of the UK. Part. I think I did say that actually. I think I have said it in this vlog, but yeah, at least they've announced it. They could have just left it to the end of the season, ripped it out without announcing it, like a lot of our parks do, and everyone would be sad. Um, and it would be a shock. But yeah, like we know that that's definitely our last ride on the log flume if you're doing it this season. Um, and yeah, it is what it is. It's a popular ride, it's a brilliant ride. Um, but like I say, I, I guess they have plans for that area, hopefully. And yeah, that'll probably be the next time I come here. Because yeah, um, the vast majority of parks I visit, it's like, oh, like, you know, I've done it, might not need to do it again for a good couple of years. Um, you know, not in like a major rush. But this it's kind of like the opposite like i want to come back here very soon like as soon as possible amazing part um but yeah like say if something does get announced for the log flume site which you know surely they're not going to remove it and not put anything there at all yes it interacts with leesburg ban and it covers quite a land large landscape um but yeah i'm sure they have a plan for something to go in there um so yeah looking forward to following that really from here um, and then yeah back to experience whatever takes up its space but um, yeah I will be doing separate reviews from the park probably from Helix as well maybe Valkyria and Balder um, thought there was a rock to sit on the bench with some over it um, so yeah stay tuned for those and yeah if you haven't seen the travel vlog and the date one vlog from this park do go and check them out um because yeah like one shows how we get here um and the other first reactions and that's that's all i think um gonna be sad to leave this park very shortly but yeah all good things come to an end and that can be said about this trip um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed the content that i've filmed from Lisaberg. I'm really looking forward to sharing it. Um, who knows when this vlog's going to be uploaded? Because yeah, I have a huge backlog now. Had a few issues with that Pleasure Beach vlog from literally like, I think it was the 22nd of July, so just under a month ago now. Um, and yeah, those issues look to be resolved as I'm speaking right now, touch wood. It's just a matter of getting the time to get it, get it online, basically. Um, which... I haven't been able to do whilst I'm here, but yeah, like I say, hopefully 
within the coming days as I'm recording this now on the 20... No, the 18th, 19th, 19th of August it is today. Um, yeah, um, hopefully I'll be getting out soon and yeah, followed by the Lisa Berg vlogs. Um, so yeah, um, hello in September I guess. Uh, <laughs> it's probably most likely for this vlog, like I say. I am looking forward to sharing these vlogs, I hope you've enjoyed them, uh, I've really enjoyed making them and yeah, stay tuned for the reviews and all sorts of videos I'll make um, when I get the chance from this amazing park. But yeah, until then I'll finish this vlog with uh, good lighting thanks to the Helix train. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, check out the screen to see more and I will see you in the next video whenever that will be.